Hello everybody, and welcome back to Course Party Blood Drive. First of all, I want to apologize if you hear any background noise. It's like 100 degrees in my room once again, so I have a fan running. Basically, so I don't have to keep on saying this, if you hear like any sort of like constant noise in the background in any of my videos, it's more than likely a fan. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that. <coughs> And, to be completely honest, I don't know where I am right now, in this game, I mean. Um, I can't tell if I'm running away from the ghost right now, or if I still have to go activate it. So, um, let's go over here and see. Oh shit, no, don't, don't go there. Okay, so she, the ghost is out looking for me. I get it. Alright, it's affixed to the wall. So I have to go that way the ghost is, but I don't know how to get past her. Or Mayo, as you guys know her, not just the ghost. <clears throat> Alright, let's uh, check out this note. There is no use hiding, you were always- Oh, I already read that. Oh no, don't, don't. I almost stepped on those cracks. Mayo's down this hallway. Oh, yep, that's where- he, That's where she originally died, at that wall. Alright, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Boom! Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, you can't catch up with me now, can ya? Oh shit, oh no. Don't step in that. <laughs> yeah, so this is where she originally died. Holy shit, she came back to the place that she died. That's metal as fuck. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no, 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 go, go, go. 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 <laughs> oh. You just stepped in broken glass. Oh well. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, you are so fucked. Oh, you are so fucked. Mayo's running after you, and you got this girl. You were such an idiot. Oh, um, how are you so dumb? How many brain cells did you lose in the span of trying to make this game? Cause I swear you lost a lot. Oh, alright, just just give me these five seconds for a face palm. Okay, that was about five seconds. You were so stupid. You were so incredibly stupid. Like it's not even funny anymore. Oh my god. You think that some normal person would just be standing here in this hallway, not saying anything to you, not really doing anything? And plus, the game isn't showing her face. So I'm guessing that... Oh my god. I'm guessing that Yumi's gonna look up and realize that she has, like, no face or something. And then we'll have to run again. My chin smashed against the floor, and the... Wind was completely knocked out of me. My entire field of vision turned white, as if I'd been drenched in some unholy. Yeah, I don't know how to say that. You were so dumb. Uh, God, you're so dumb. <gasps> Who are you? <laughs> what the fuck was that? That wasn't the original murderer. That was some new guy. Holy shit. That was some new guy hauling around a freaking battle axe. Holy shit. 
And I'm guessing that he hit Yuki, but I doubt that Yuki was even alive. She wasn't moving, she wasn't saying anything. I doubt that Yuki was even near alive. <clears throat> then everything went black. Various indistinctive forms blurred together in front of my eyes. And all of a sudden, it felt as if not my body, but my mind had been shattered to pieces. Oh, so we were hit? Or was Yuki hit? Oh, what is it? The chapter's already over? What happened? So, if I read right, there are five chapters in this game, and I'm already on, like, part 12 or 11. Yeah, um, this game takes a while to record because of all the dialogue. Or, I think that it will... I think that I will cut down the parts in, like, each chapter, because the first chapter was just full... Well, not really the first chapter, you know, chapter zero... It was full of so much dialogue that I had to do videos on. And it ugh, it bothered me so much to make videos with just that dialogue. But now that we're actually in Heavenly Host and stuff is happening, the parts should be cut down. So yeah. Now I have to make the decision. Do I want to move on to Chapter 2? Because this episode would be extremely short if I didn't. Or do I want to do this the traditional way and just end as soon as the chapter ends? <clears throat> um, since I don't want there to be a lot of parts in this Let's Play, we're going to go ahead and start Chapter 2. And then I can just quick save in it, so it really doesn't matter. Respective desires. Oh! Spiritual report of witness to these brutal. Okay. Oh, it's like a news report. I was like, what the hell is going on? Okay. These bizarre deaths that have occurred throughout this area. Okay, well, we already know that this is happening, so why does there need to be, like, a scene for it? Sudden death, female, middle, the, 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 in the metro area. Huh. Hey, there's Saitama! Saitama's freaking great in One Punch Man, and yes, I realize that it's also a city, I'm not dumb. Huh. So, there it shows Japan. Well, not J- Well, no shit me. I meant to say Tokyo. Okay. That is fairly near your location. Oh, yep, they're talking about that one. That we saw in Chapter Zero. You know, it said spiritual report, and now you're trying to say, oh, you know, we're trying to see who did this, and uh, and we're going to arrest them. You literally called it a spiritual report. If you think that it was a spirit, then you got to stick to it. You can't just change your mind. Well, how the hell would that even happen? You know, off subject, but looking at the like this little map right here, it kind of just kind of looks like Cyrodiil. You know where the Imperial City is? I know that Yeah, I know that the Imperial City was in the middle of like that river or lake, whatever you want to call it. But it does kind of kind of look like the Cyrodiil. The Cyrodiil. <laughs> Don't listen to me. I just woke up. Oh, you look like a fish. Ew. 
the fuck is wrong with your face? Oh my god, do you need help? You look like a fish or like a baby or oh oh What was that banging sound? Iko, okay. <clears throat> I was about to head into a room and scold her for wasting electricity like that, but was sidetracked when I heard the fax machine accept a call and began printing. How? Wait, what? A fax machine? Do you live in North Korea, lady? Or, like, maybe this is further back? You know, maybe we're getting, like, a flashback? But, oh my, a fax machine? Okay. Once the contents had been fully transmitted, I grabbed the printout from the machine and took a look at it. Product order sheet, as expected. <sighs> PL promote. Oh, she's reading. Okay. <gasps> you're the girl! Oh, you're cool, I like you. Even though you're very manipulative. I said that right. <laughs> oh, man. Even though you manipulated, like, a Yumi, um, kind of Yoshi, but Yoshi didn't really fall for it as much, you're cool. You and the mysterious guy, who I don't remember his name, even though I was told it. You two are cool. I sat down in the chair at my desk and produced the pouch containing the Ever After Stone. Or rather, the pouch that was supposed to keep. Oh, this is after Yoshi switched them. Oh, man. Once I swept it open and turned it upside down, however, a plain ordinary marble rolled out instead. Oh, she's gonna be so pissed. And we already used the stones. Oh, man. Really? Oh, I expected her to go off. Oh, I expected her to get so pissed off. Huh. Alright. Not that it matters. Why doesn't it matter? Fuck's it revenge. Are you being fucking serious? You're just gonna do that? Oh my god, this game is so lazy. This game is so lazy. You're not gonna be like, oh, there's a charm that you can do, rather than, you know, having two stones or whatever. But no, she just has a spare set of stones. Like, are you serious? When did a chorus party become so lazy? I mean, I expected like a freaking spell or charm, but... Another set of stones is just like a poor excuse, to be honest. I'm guessing that they changed a lot of things when they were uh, making this game. You know, with the 3D and all that, but also just... I, I don't know, it doesn't have the same charm as the other chorus parties did, I'm just saying. You found another pair? Oh my god. You know, I already went on this rant. Let's just... I saw the stones together in their proper positions. And sat back down and started... Uh, stared intently at them as they glowed menacingly from my desk. <clears throat> so let me guess. You're gonna go there and you're gonna end up meeting a Yumi... And you have the stones still, because nobody else is with you, so obviously you would have the stones. So you're, you two are going to be in like some dilemma, or you're going to team up. I, I don't know. My phone buzzed, warning me that I just received an email. The center display simply read XXX. Well, not, those weren't X's, my bad. Whereabouts unknown. 
Uh, Book of Shadows is in the Nirvana. Obtain it and you'll be handsomely rewarded. Spirit Rider. Alright. Oh! These are the auctions that she was talking about. They want her to go get this book. Okay, I see. It's coming from Spirit Item Auctions. So you're, yeah, so this is a way for her to go to Heavenly Host. Like I said before, she's going to go there. Because she wants this book to sell. It better be selling good. I'm talking like millions of dollars. So multiple people are going to end up going here that are part of this auction. Okay, this should be interesting. So she knows? Well yeah, I already knew that. That was pretty obvious. <gasps> Please tell me that we're gonna play as you. Oh, I didn't even think of that before. If we get to play as I go, that would be so awesome. Once again, she's like the best character in this so far. Yep, I feel that. Exactly, that's what I've been saying this entire time. It's not that simple. I mean, imagine if she were to do that in, like, the real world rather than Heavenly Host. It would be no different. Trying to bring people back in the real world isn't simple, so why would it be in Heavenly Host? Like, yeah, I've been saying that this entire time. Oh, so this is going to be like the doll from Blood Covered, how like the killer would talk through the doll? <laughs> I'll smile again and stretch my arms. Oh. Oh, she's going to try to catch Naho. If you guys didn't know, that's who originally wrote the Suchko Ever After Charm, which is what originally brought people into Heavenly Host. And Naho ended up dying herself inside of Heavenly Host. Oh. Wow. It's just but I totally don't even keep it. Alright. How's the very first photo sticker I've ever taken with? Oh, that's cute. Oh, yeah, that is you. Oh, that, that's really cute. Right. First and only time we ever got in our photo to get, I guess, the plants must have. Alright, I'm back. Sorry. I just randomly decided to go get some breakfast. Not really much of an excuse. Um, I had a uh, White Castle. It was amazing. Alright, carry on with the game. I took the frame in both hands and studied it intently. Then, after, I don't even know how long, I noticed that the figures in it were getting kind of blurry. I wanted nothing more than to hear their voices again. I rubbed my eyes, realizing my biggest wish was just to talk with them just one more time. Okay. I didn't know what came over me, but I just started hugging the frame. No more words, no more movement. I just sat there with my friends. Who are you? What's her? I separated myself from the food. Alright. Oh! 
We saw you and... You gotta stop talking. Alright. We saw you in chapter zero. I, I think that we did. Um... I'm pretty sure that we saw you before. Will it? Will it? I'm not gonna lie, I do that too. I do the same exact thing. Like, when I'm just alone and, like, say, like, I'm playing on my phone or something, I'll just get so tired of it being silent, and so I'll turn on my TV and just, it doesn't even matter what's playing, I'll just like the noise in the background, because it gives me something to listen to, rather than it just being completely silent. I actually understand that. Alright, well I think that this is a great place to end the episode, because I don't see any quick save points coming up soon. So yeah, if you guys like this, then feel free to leave a like, and uh, yeah, I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.